Hello and welcome to a new series by the What's For Slash. Well, I with me, Samuel, um, where we're playing the Stanley Parable. Well, I'm playing, you're watching. You, that That's technically wrong, you are not playing, I am playing. That should be, well, sorry bit. Samuel, that, you should be changed to, pardon me, um, Samuel, or it should be playing change to watching but then that wouldn't apply to me so it's all it, well we'll just ignore that and we'll get on with playing the game shall we the end is never the end never loading 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 all to watch i mean in the long um loading screen um why am i watching this it's incredibly boring i can go and watch something else more interesting or i could watch this cutscene this is the story of a man named stanley Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Exciting. to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, nice every moment that the orders came in. Weird. As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley <laughs> was happy. Controversial. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. What? He showed up to give him instructions, call him it again. or even say hi. Uh. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Gameplay! So yes, this is the Stanley Parable taking, uh, in, taking place in one of the most exciting places ever, an office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? That they all Stanley hate Stanley. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, they, they're all having a meeting about how much they hate Stanley. They, they, no matter yes. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I'm looking very hard. I'm looking underneath his desk. We're at, I'm looking at this parti partition corp. What's that saying? Providing partitions for 50 years. Oh, good on you, partition corp. You're doing a valuable service to the world. Like... Employee 432 here, who's sharpening everybody's pencils. Good on you, Partition Corp. You're making lives even more isolated. I'm turning off this computer. Turn off. Good. You don't deserve to be on. You just... Yeah. You're a terrible computer. Why do you exist? This filing cabinet's done something worthy with its life. It's... It stores stuff. You just allow people to search things on the internet. Like stereotypically, cats. Cats. Cats, not caps. Um, my, my views on caps are very, very influential in the hat world. If you can see by searching, going on a, I'm doing a bit of advertising here. Brandon, his other channel Game Reflect, has um, a video on it called the Life of a Hat, which is a documentary about hats starring me in it. So, go check that out. Also, while I'm checking out this cardboard box, who uh, looks very nice today. How are you today, cardboard box? You, you're, you're looking fabulous, darling. You're, you're looking start, looking startling, startling indeed. So we'll actually get do some stuff. Though we probably won't get an ending done this episode, when Stanley came to because there are multiple endings. He entered the door on his left. As there are choices, so you might be thinking, if you are going to the left door, it'll take me to the same place as the right door. 
However, that is not true. So, we have two options here. Left door, right door. Left, right. So the right thing would go to into the right door, or is it going to the left? Left. Left. Let's go left, shall we? Left. To the meeting room. Let's go this way. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh, I missed the meeting. Not how terrible I am. No. Up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Uh, do not alter without consulting the whiteboard manager. Okay, whiteboard manager. Let's see what what this meeting schedule is. Weekly targets admin. Marketing marketing Mondays. Four fifty. Employee four fifty one's private time. Saucy. Um, I'm thinking of some trip. Termination Tuesdays. My favorite day of the week when five people get fired and five more get hired. Um, uh, let's see. Legal question mark. Oh, question mark exclamation mark. Uh, we're we're broke Wednesday. <laughs> the day when we all panic because the company's broken down. And we have no future. But then on Thursday, it comes all back, and we merge with another company, and it's all fine again. Then we have ideas and developments, and pre review of weekly review. Um, and then we we have to think about what to do about 4, employee 432. Don't tell 432 about the meeting, but it is on the, the whiteboard. But 432 does a valuable service. He has a valuable service. Every day he comes in and he sits at a desk and he sharpens pencils. How could you you insult employee 432 by thinking, well, well talking about him behind his back? That's well, not cost efficient. Standardized graphs. Get Chris out of the broom faucet. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I will um, get Chris out of the broom faucet since we're done here. Let the ball up inside. Yeah, well, that's what I do. With co-workers every day. Um, it's in dry school. Okay, let's just go get Chris out the room closet. Let's get him out. Come on, Chris. You're not here. Stanley stepped into okay. the closet, but Well, I did. Here, so he turned around and got back on not doing that. I'm rebelling. I'm rebelling against your story. Ha ha ha. How do you like that? You don't like it, do you? No choice to make. No path to yeah, well, I, I like this room. It's, it's very comfortable. No I mean, there's, there's a room and a mop, a mop bucket thing. It was well, it's not even a mop. Was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Well, I'm it interacting is, with the floor. Just standing there doing sweet FA. Well, I am doing. For, I'm doing for anything really. I don't. I don't. It's a weird saying that. Yes, I am. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm genuinely confused. Well, it's just pleasant, really. It's just comfortable. The air's nice and warm. It's not too stuffy. I do. Well, I came to get Chris out. It didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolute <sighs> what? No Why is it here then? To the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Okay. Well, we've mentioned it now. I'm comfortable in here. There's a wrench. I could commit murder. Somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. And it is, but I'm afraid we're going to have to end the episode there. So thank you for watching, and we'll end the broom closet ending tomorrow. Thank you for watching.